What's going on everyone, it's Chris from Exile Gaming and today we're going to be creating an animated webcam border and adding it to OBS Firestream Elements. Just a quick reminder before we get started that I do stream on Twitch most days and I will leave a link, as always, down in the description. So if you've got any questions or if you just want to come say hello, please feel free to jump in. Okay, let's get started. Now this is actually a lot easier than what it looks. So we're going to create two layers and that is all we're going to need. So start by creating a new composition and name it. My settings are 1920 by 1080, 60 frames per second and then the duration is 10 seconds. I've got 10 seconds because obviously we don't want a really short duration. Otherwise the animation is going to be going around so fast that the, the users aren't going to be able to see it. Go ahead and click OK. Then I'm going to right click down here in my layers panel, click new and shape layer. If for any reason you don't see that, just go up to the very top, click layer, new, shape layer. Now up in the top in the middle, I've got fill and I've got stroke. Now I want a, a stroke, I've currently got a white border of 14 pixels and I'm going to hold alt until I toggle through and I see a diagonal red line, which basically means don't fill anything. Then what I'm going to do is just drag a webcam border onto the screen. Now, if you've got a target uh, a target shape in mind, or you know the you know the exact dimensions that you want, what you can do is come down here in your properties panel, click on the little arrow, click on rectangle path, and then you've got this size. So right now this is constrained by each other. So if I change one, it'll change the other. So if I said nineteen twenty, it would change the other to uh, ten twelve. But if I unlink them, I can change both now individually. So now I've got a layer which is 1920 by 1080, but I'm just going to bring that in by holding shift and just so we've got some workable area because I'm not going to have a, a webcam border which is 1920 by 1080 because that would just be humongous. It would take up the screen. So you want you, typically you would probably have a canvas that floats around this mark and sits down there, but I'm using quite a large uh, canvas area just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so once we're here, we have got our background and what I'm going to do is press Ctrl and D. So I'm duplicating the layer. And then what I'm going to do is with the um, effects presets on the far right hand side. And if you don't see that, go up to the very top in the middle and you've got window and you have effect the presets. And then just down here, you're going to have effect controls. So over here on effect and presets, I'm going to uh, select my fill. I'm going to drag it onto my layer. So right now it's defaulted to the red and we've filled the, this layer with this, this second layer with a color of red. So if we change this color, we would have you know, a violet purple of some sort. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to click on your second layer, click on the properties, click on contents, and then just over here on the right, you've got add. You want to go to add and trim paths. Trim paths basically allows us to draw lines around our uh, our our border. So there's there's going to be a point which is zero, and it'll go all the way around, and that is the end. So if we click down on the trim paths, I'm just going to click off my layer. Let's just change this to you know something else. Let's say like a lime green. That is ugly. However. Let's click on the um, the trim paths. So what we've got here is we've got a start and an end. And so that is, we have got, we're starting at 0% and we're ending at 100% of the of the, the, um, the canvas area of the actual stroke. So if I change this down to say, you know, 26% and click off, we've now got 26% of the, um, the border itself. So if I wanted to offset this, and change the starting position. So right now the starting position is down here. Um, and if I click to play, then nothing's gonna happen because obviously we're not setting the animations up. But if we set animations up, we would start from here. If I move the, move the starting point, we would now start from here. Okay, so what we can do now is now that we've got 26% of our um, lines drawn, we can click on this offset and right at the very beginning of our time path, I'm going to click the stopwatch, toggle all the way to the end, the 10 seconds, click another uh, keyframe anchor point, 
and then I'm just going to type in one here. And what that means is it wants in these 10 seconds, I want you to do one whole rotation of the actual border. So if I hit enter, go back to the beginning and click the space bar. Now it will transition around for one whole rotation. So when we get back here, we've done one rotation and it'll loop back around and, and do the next rotation. So for, just for demonstration purposes, if I change this to say 15, we're expecting 15 rotations in that 10 seconds, which is obviously way too quick. I'm going to have a fit or something. So come back over here, change to one. Obviously, if you want more or less of your line, so say if we wanted, you know, just 10% of our line, we could go from there. And let's just change that color again because I think we could probably do better than that. Let's go with, let's go for like a pink. There you go, sound. Okay, so now what we need to do is we obviously need to export this and stick it into stream elements and then import it into our OBS. Now to export, it's really simple. We're literally going to go file. Export, add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. Once there, we'll be presented with this window and you should see Q on the right hand side. Click on Window and Q if you don't see that. Now we will be exporting to a WebM extension and I've spoken about this in a previous video. I'll leave a link down to that in the description. But for those of you that want to skip ahead of that, um, WebM is a basically it's a different codex that we need and it allows us to compress videos and images um, a lot smaller than traditionally we've been able to. Uh, it also allows us to keep hold of the transparency in videos. So we obviously need that for the where the, where the background's going to be. Uh, where the webcam itself is going to be so once you've downloaded that go ahead and restart uh, adobe after effects click on this little drop down arrow and right down at the very bottom you'll have webm then you'll see your extension has now changed to final render webm you can rename that if you if you wish now we're going to keep pretty much all the settings the same except from two so we're going to click onto that we don't obviously need audio and if i scroll all the way very down to the bottom include alpha channel now this is very important because it means that we, we we're going to keep that um the, the transparency so all of this black it will just completely forget about so go ahead and tick that press ok and then you can click the start and once you've exported you're going to want to go and create a stream elements account if you don't already have one that is of course then click on the left hand side and you'll see my overlays go ahead and create a blank overlay and I'm just going to click start. Let's name this to webcam border. Then I'm going to cl uh, cl click on add widget. Scroll down to static and custom and click on video. I'm going to change the video and I'm going to click on upload. Then I'm just going to go ahead and drag my file over. I've just gone ahead and renamed mine to webcam stripe pink. And I'm going to click on submit. So once there, what that'll do is it will give us a, uh, a canvas and we can just drag it and arrange this, this window however we see fit. Now, because we've made it quite big, I'm going to just drag it like that. Then what you want to do is go ahead and click save. And if you click on this little preview window, window, window you'll get a, um, a URL that we'll be able to import into as a browser source into our OBS. So I'll go ahead and copy that and open up your OBS studio. So now I've opened up my OBS studio. What I want to do is just rearrange my window a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. We'll, we'll fix this in a second. Then I'm going to click on the little plus down here on sources. If for any reason you don't see sources, click on view docs and sources, click on the plus, click on browser because we've just copied our browser source and let's call this webcam border. Okay. Um, webcam border stream elements, click okay. And then I'm going to add in my 
um, my URL. The width, 1920 by 1080. And once that's caught up, what we'll do is we'll have our window. Now, obviously, this is only sat in the top left hand corner here because if we open up our stream elements window, what we've got is we've positioned it up in the top left over here. So if I went ahead and resized it down here, or if we changed the actual canvas size in stream elements, we'll keep it simple for this video. Um, but if I went ahead and click save on that, now I've got my window over here. We don't need to worry too much about that though, because what we can do is in OBS, you can click on your layer and hold alt and just drag in. And what's that, what that's doing is essentially clipping our layer. So we're telling OBS studio that we don't care about everything else that's outside of this window. I'm just going to crop and just leave a little bit of gap. So then what I can do is I can position it wherever I'd like it, select my webcam and resize. And there you have it. We have created our animated border in After Effects. We've added it to stream elements and then we've just imported that browser source into um, Adobe, uh, OBS Studio. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below and I will get back to you everyone as quickly as possible. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and then until next time, take care.